So it's time to do some testing today. Well, I'll actually do some testing last night. And as some of you probably know, or maybe know, or don't care, family and I will be going on vacation in February to Disney. One of the things that I wanted to make sure that we were able to do, of course, is capture all the fun that we're having. A lot of things I think that look really cool at Disney because of all the lights. And it would be the same if you went to a lot of like big cities and things like that. Just lights play a big role, especially when it gets dark out. One of the things that action cams have really been known to fail or suffer at is really when it gets dark out. I wanted to put the test that a lot of Insta360 users have tested. I wanted to try it for myself to see how well this actually worked. I do have the new Ace Pro from Insta360. And I have a GoPro Hero 11. So not the 12, not the 12, but the 11. But as far as I know, the 12 and the 11 have the same chip inside them. As far as I know, I may be incorrect, but same size chip. The Insta360, one of the big features, of course, was in both hardware and software. Hardware-wise, this actually went, they talk about a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor, which is, I believe, tied for biggest sensor with the DJI Action 4. Still one of the biggest. They didn't take the lead, but hey, still good. But their big feature is software base and hardware kind of together. First off, they actually have incorporated into the camera this 5 nanometer AI chip or an AI denoising chip which when partnered with the sensor supposedly gives us really good low light so the image that it captures looks way better than most action cams or any action cam out there because the two of my newest action cams are the gopro hero 11 and the ace pro and we are going somewhere that i'm going to want to record when it's dark out i figured i'd test this beforehand now the other important thing for me is that this coming summer we are going to be doing a lot of motorcycle trips and i do record with action cams again knowing which of these is going to perform best when the light is not at its most optimum a lot of times we like to leave really early in the morning so we are up before the sun comes out not that we like to ride much at night but it happens being able to capture the best quality is always beneficial. Here's the footage. It's the same kind of footage. I actually had both of these mounted on, on this right here, of course. The lovely magnetic mount allows me to just do that instead of this, which again, I'm a fan of. What happened is I recorded out this side window when it was just starting to get dark. And you guys will see that video here. When it really started to get dark, I filmed it again. We'll show you the first one so that you can uh, get an idea of the comparison between the GoPro Hero 11 and the Insta360 Ace Pro. I didn't touch this footage at all. It is straight out of camera. Talking. I'm just doing a little light test. Oh. Uh, rice vermicelli, spinach, shrimp, avocado,
All right, so you've seen that. And even when the light starts to go down, even just a little bit, the Ace Pro definitely is doing a much better job, without question. You know, the GoPro, if you had it already and you're like, yeah, it's fine, I get it. Is the Ace Pro better? Sure. Is the other one doable? Maybe. But you really notice it in movement, which of course it's an action cam, so movement's kind of important. It really just, it stutters, it shakes, it just, uh, it's, it's hard for it to really just keep up. About half an hour later, the sun had almost completely gone down and it was really getting dark. And I'm like, let's just try it one more time because if it can do any anything in this kind of light, then that's gonna be awesome. Here, here you go. Again, about half hour later and the two cameras side mounted. Both were running in both scenarios, 4K, 24 frames, and I tried to keep them at the same kind of width. So in the first clip that you watched, they're both at wide. And in this clip that you're gonna watch, I both had them set to like a linear mode or what you would probably use mostly for vlogging. Here you go, much darker. Looks tasty. Did you try one of the spring rolls? Not yet. Right. Sweet. The rice crackers? And all. Oh. Well, just crackers in general? Mm-hmm. Ellie. Oh, Ellie. At least it's Harley. I was like, good for Harley. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Harley, do you want Wow. Our cat. Likes crackers. You know, I it's it's amazing how well the actual Ace Pro does. I was surprised, honestly, I'm really surprised. It gets rid of the majority of the noise. There is still noise there for sure, but if you look at the noise in comparison to the actual GoPro, it's not even close, not even close. And if you look at how much detail the actual Ace Pro can retain, especially in scenarios where you're looking at an area like in the kitchen where there were still some bright lights, but it's also dark, or if you get into complete darkness, it, actually keeps everything nice and smooth, doesn't have any judder, and the things that you want to record actually are somewhat visible, which is quite amazing for a sensor of that size. So that little AI chip is doing a whole lot of wonders, which is awesome. It's really not even a question which of these two cameras is better in low light by any means. Is a 12 GoPro any better? I don't think so. Again, it doesn't have any of that AI chip stuff in it. It still has the smaller image sensor in that camera, so I would say no. The Ace Pro is gonna definitely be the one that comes with me without without question. It's just a better low light camera and it just has some very up-to-date modern features in it that I think will be a lot of fun to try out when we're vacationing. This is uh, a little comparison between the GoPro Hero 11 
and the Insta360 Ace Pro, kind of showcasing it at night using their pure video mode, which, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty sweet. It's links down below to the Ace Pro if you're interested. And yes, the Ace Pro was sent to me, but you guys are seeing it. Proof is in the pudding. That's it. Links down below if you're interested, and uh, we will see you guys next video. Also, if you're interested in uh, any kind of tests on some of the cameras that I have between them, especially with the Ace Pro right now, because it's new. Ace Pro versus, I have the GoPro Hero 11. I have the Insta360 One RS, the One R, the X2, and the Go2. So if you want any kind of comparisons between these cameras, let me know, and I'll see if I can uh, put them in a future video so that you guys, if you're trying to figure out if it's worth the upgrade or not, we can put some footage up there so you guys can uh, get a unedited look. All right, guys. See you next video. Later.